to another episode of Simply Unprofessional. I'm your host, Webby. Join me tonight, we got Devin. Hey, everybody, what's up? Devin, we're recording this on a different day. It's gotten me kind of all thrown off. I can't even say, wow, it's been a week, because it's only Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, So, I got a couple things I'd like to talk about. One of which is not necessarily... D and D specific, but you know, tabletop are RPG centric. It's it's more so about uh, DMing. Um, like if if say we pulled somebody in who uh, was new to DMing or or wanted to give it a go. Um, things that we could offer, advice that we could offer to them to ease that transition. You know what I mean? So what's the question one, one last time? That's so, not really a question. It's just, it's, it's us giving tips and advice on how to begin being a DM in any game? Oh, um, I mean, the first like thing that. I would probably say, first tip I'd probably say is just be okay with sucking. Um, it's going to happen at the beginning. Yeah, Donnie. You got to be okay with it. Um, you'll, you will get better. I mean, you might not think that you'll get better, that you that you're better. I mean, I personally, I'm my own worst critic. I personally, I hate I I don't think I'm a good DM at all, but then I get yelled at when I say these things. Um, you know, Devin tells me I'm fine, and everybody else seems to enjoy it. So, um, I would say ask questions. Like I'm constantly, I constantly want to know more about my players, like their characters. Uh, the more invested they are as a player the more more often than not they'll be invested in the games um plus the more you learn about their characters like they don't have to have like a big 30 page backstory but you know ask questions as as you go along you know um make them put thought into it because the more you know about their character the more you can write hooks and leads in your story to to really get into that character Um, plus you can create uh, more NPCs for your world true Um, now Devin yep First off, where's the energy? I need I need Devin energy. I'm a tear. You're What's very up? you're very zen right now. Uh, is that a problem? It's Tuesday, Webby. I don't have much energy to spread around. It's Tuesday. <sighs> long, it's sore. I've had a long week. Long it's week. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> I know it's been a bad week. That I'll agree with. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. In the last several, it's not it's not fair. The last several episodes I've I've really had you kind of ramp it up trying to get me up there because I'm I'm an energy leech I don't know if the listeners know this like all right 
for the last how many years have we been doing like the live stream do you know like four uh, i don't even remember four or something like that yeah yeah so like for the last four years we we do a live stream in december we also do one in fucking sometime in the spring and then we do halloween ones we've done for like the last three years or so two three years but they're they're 24 hour streams except for the halloween one for whatever reason they only do it for 12 but the big one in december is always a 24 hour stream and me and devin most of the time are usually the only two who are there for the whole thing or awake for the whole thing i should say um, I will say, I think Edquist did it all the way through last year. I dozed off one, I dozed off for like in 45 minutes. I took a power nap, like 45 minutes or an, like an hour or 45 minutes. I think like the first or the second year. Yeah. And I blame that completely on Blade Trinity because it's a terrible movie. So I was watching <laughs> that to keep me awake and I was just like, yeah, no, it's, it's not happening. Uh, well, with me. Everybody always gives me, well, they don't give me shit, but they always inquire. They always think I'm insane because I stay up for the full 24 hours. And like, I want to say it was last year's, maybe the year before. I Everything's a blur now that I think about it. But there is one year where not only did I stay up for the full 24 hours, but I stayed up until like midnight the following day, like that same day. So I was up for like. Four, and then I yelled at you because you, you, like you 42 you were, hours or something like and that. I yelled at you because you were seeing things like when well, we got to bed. Yeah, so, but the the issue with me, right, is when we're on playing games or or interacting with people, if I'm on a program like SU or, or the live stream, and I'm around people who have energy, who are, you know, completely awake, or they're very energetic, and they're, you know, they're, uh... Ah, yeah, energetic's the only word that comes to mind. I feed off of that. That makes me more energetic. That makes me more um, lively. So, anyway, that whole tangent was just to pretty much describe, like, the last couple of weeks I've really been kind of down and out of it, and Devin's really been the one carrying SU the last couple of weeks, and I appreciate that. <laughs> so thank you, Devin. No problem. I'm here for that. And now we're both just kind of like, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. We're getting adapted to a new schedule. I'm not, like I'm here. Yeah. You know, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm I'm here. Well, see, I'm I'm kind of down. Like I'm down still, but like I'm down. I just am. Uh, Let's let's air this out. But like I'm very like I'm very relaxed right now. Like I feel like I could just go and lay down and fall asleep for a while. I mean I really could. I got an hour <laughs> last night. Uh I'm super sore. Uh, I mean yeah no I could. I totally could just lay down and go to sleep right now. Like I would be I would be okay with that. Yeah and we didn't even play vamp last night. Normally Mondays no. are our vamp night. Or our yeah, we, whatever, side our RPG game night. RPG nights. Yeah. yeah. It just will become a smorgasbord of RPGs at this point. It's just RPG night. Yeah. yeah. Pretty soon we're gonna have to uh, do that wheel, that that website wheel thing. I'm always down for that. Where you just insert all the things and we just roll to see what we're we playing just, for that can night. We just, can we just do like prices right? Like where you just like we just put one through one hundred and everybody spin the wheel, and whoever gets closest to a dollar gets to pick the game for the night. <laughs> yeah, but with our group, no one's gonna want to win. And then if they pick, if they're if they are the winner, everyone's just gonna be they like. Have to pick. No, they have to pick. Man, they, they that'd just... be rough. I mean, I'm for it. Either that or we should just do a rotation. Like, oh, this yeah, week is pretty, Edquist's uh, week to I'm pick which game. I'm doing prices right because I think the world needs more prices. All right. Yeah. Hey, let's do it. Who's the who's the host of prices right now? Is it Drew Carey still? Drew, it's still Drew Carey. Yeah. I actually just watched something on Netflix about the prices, right? It's a great... That's right. You said it. I, I, you, I mean, you heard it. I watched something on Netflix about the prices. Right. It was actually nothing, about one of the nothing on Netflix was is as good as Nailed It. Well, okay, you're not wrong. That's Nailed It is a phenomenal show, but no, okay. So this Price is Right thing, right? On Netflix, it's about a guy who was in the crowd several. Oh, the times. guy who was cheating or whatever. Or he wasn't, wasn't really cheating. cheating. That's yeah. the thing. He wasn't really cheating. He went and he he learned 
the he patterns he did research. He did research. and he researched this. So then he would call out in the crowd because, you know, in The Price is Right, for those of you who's never seen it, you're supposed Come to on down. you're supposed to you get an item, you're supposed to bid on it. And it's whoever's the closest bid to the actual retail price without going over wins. And this guy, and you are allowed to turn, it's in front of a live crowd. You're allowed to turn and get help from the audience. You know, they've never once said that you can't. Uh, And this one guy, he'd start pitching out price numbers. And every single time it was like on the dot, that's the price. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting watching it. I kind of feel bad. I, good as it, I don't but... think the guy. No, the guy did make it onto the show once. Did he win the show? That would be really embarrassing if he helped like a bunch of people win the show and then he made it in the show and couldn't win. I don't remember. I think he got to the point where you had to spin the wheel. Okay. And, and then, so and then the I end. think, and then I think he got bumped out. I, I don't I don't remember now off the top of my head. Um but yeah, no nailed it is great. I like it. I I love nailed it. Jacques Torres, the Meister of Chocolate. Yes, he's the Meister of Chocolate. So far my favorite co- can you guess who my favorite uh guest host on Nailed It has been so far? Felicia Day. Well, alright, you know me. <laughs> that was an easy one. That was a layup for you, Devin. Was. Um there's actually another show that I've just started watching yesterday. It's I'm I'm get not really a sitcom, but it's a comedy. It's just like a little uh kind of, kind of like a sitcom type thing. It's that uh the Gabriel Iglesias show. Yep. Yep. That one. I just started watching that. It's Hilarious. Good. Good. I, really good show. I, I don't know show. why, Devin. <laughs> Okay, I don't want you to be offended by this. If this, if this is offend, if 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 this offends you, nothing offends me. Whenever I'm watching this show, anytime yep. I hear that Lorenzo kid talk, uh-huh. or, or like walk around, I can't help but think of you. I don't know why. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I take it. I don't like it, but I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, and he's all like huge into like the conspiracy theories, which I know you're not really, but still, just his mannerisms and stuff. Like especially this last episode I watched, you know, the teacher's talking to him, and he's like, oh, "I bet you have all the all the smooth moves with the ladies, Lorenzo." And he like slams his hand down on the desk and he stands up. He's like, "It's all a front. It's all just a front, you know. <laughs> on the inside, I don't know what I'm doing." <laughs> Uh, anyway, goddamn yeah. that show, that and Peaky Blinders. I've been on Peaky Blinders kick. I'm on the last season of Peaky Blinders now. So nice last season. I I believe it's the last season. Um, let me look real quick. There are four seasons. I am. Nope, never mind. There's four seasons. I'm on season three currently. So, have you, how far into Peaky Blenders, have you watched the whole thing? Uh, I watched, I watched all season one, all season two, and then I stopped watching it, and then I, so I kind of forgot a lot of stuff, so I went back to start over again, so I'm on episode like three, and I'm not very far. Okay. Yeah, see, that's kind of how I started with the show, was I started watching it, I made it halfway through the first season, then I stopped, and then I had to go back and rewatch it all, but, um, so... Would you know any of the characters by name if I named them? Uh, maybe. Art like Arthur. Yeah. Okay. Arthur's like the brother. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. If we had to take some of the distractions, medium members, or, or like some of some of our like uh, like the vamp characters, like you guys as players, if I had to put you guys as Peaky Blinders, myself included. I would say that you, honestly, I think would be Thomas. Uh, I feel like Austin would probably be, who's the younger, John? 
I think John's the younger brother. I feel mm-hmm. like I feel like I would probably be Arthur. <laughs> okay. Uh and then I feel like Edquist would be I don't think you've met him yet if you're if you've only seen parts of season two, but they find out they find another brother, Michael, or a cousin, I think. They find a cousin, Michael, and they bring him into the family business. I, I feel like that would be more of like an Ed Quist esque character. Okay. As far as Donnie, man, I don't know. Hmm. Dom, he he's a uh, Grace. <laughs> okay. You mean Polly? Oh, great! Oh, yeah, Grace. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. <gasps> Love you, Doug. Oh. <laughs> He'd be Polly. Polly, probably, yeah. Um, yeah. Charlie. He's Charlie. There you go. Who the hell's Charlie? Which one's Charlie? Oh, is Charlie the boatman? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you Fair go. Fair enough. That's what, that's what he gets. Hey. You're not answering the phone. Um, yeah, no shit. You had one job. No one job. You had one fucking job, you person, you, you person, you person. Um, <sighs> so yeah, I don't know anybody who has not seen Peaky Blinders. Uh, I I watch think you it. should go watch it on Netflix if you have Netflix. Uh, I'm not sure what year it's supposed to take place in. Um, it takes place in. I want to say like the 18 something. It's in England. I know that. Yep. And I know cars are pretty uh, rare. It's, it's 1919. Oh, 1919. I thought it was like right late the, 18th. Right after, the, right after the end of the First World War. All right. So it takes place in 1919 in England. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I really like like it's essentially they're like a street gang that have like a weird like racketeering kind of business. Razor blades in the cap. That's one of my fucking favorite things. These guys like they'll walk in, they'll just take their hat off and just start whipping their hats at people and like and like beating people with their hats and they're, you're just like, "Oh, he's hitting them with a hat." Then you see the guy and his face is all fucking cut up and mangled. Because they have razor blades in their caps. That's fucking gnarly. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are those have been the two shows that I've been bouncing back between this Peaky Blinders and then the complete opposite end of that spectrum of the Mr. Iglesias uh, show. But both equally good. Um, now, Devin, I want yes. you to look something up for me. No. And I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. Now, it's a movie. It's a movie on Netflix. has Woody Harrelson in it. Okay. It's a Western. This is why I'm kind of pitching it to you. It's called The Duel. I I have seen that. I feel like I have seen that. Now, Um, I started watching a preview of this. I have it on my to-watch list, but I'm really hesitant to go watch it now. But I I have it I have I've watched a preview have, of it, and there's a church scene or something where everybody's it came hold, out in 2016. Everybody's holding up snakes in this church. Yep. I don't like it. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I mean I have I know I have seen it. Um, I know I've seen it with Liam Hemsworth. Yeah, I know, I know I've seen that movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. I, I if I remember correctly, it wasn't like an amazing movie. All right. So I can skip it. That's what, you you're, that's what you're telling. Give me an idea. So the 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 duel has an approval rating of nineteen percent based on sixteen reviews, with a weighted average score of four point eight out of ten on Metacritic. The film has a score of forty two out of hundred based on nine critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. I mean, it wasn't the it wasn't a waste of time. It wasn't amazing. I mean, well, I, don't, I, don't like that church. Amazing. I, I don't like that church scene with all the snakes, though. Is then it is it, it just that scene? 
I believe so. I, that's, it's been a while since I've seen it. That's yeah. fucking creepy. It's right there on Netflix part two. Because Netflix gave me this... Ma- it, it, they're apparently matching me to this movie with a 92%. Which, do they just base that off of like other things that I've watched? They probably base it on Buster Scruggs. Nobody really knows. They just do stuff. <laughs> Netflix is just like, hey, uh, we recommend this. You have a 98%. You know, recommend. Hey, you watch Buster Scruggs. Uh, Here's every know. other Western we have. You're ninety five percent compatible with you now. Pretty much. That's pretty much what my understanding is of what they do. So take that as you will. Now I have a question for you. I maybe have an answer for you. How come some movies or shows on Netflix don't even have that match? number because they just don't care i know netflix is very mysterious with that why and or how they do stuff so no one really knows because mm. i apparently have a 98 percent match for bad blood which is actually on my to watch list i think i've seen that it has the guy from sons of anarchy let me see. i just want to double check and make sure I'm, I'm thinking of the same thing I've seen part of that. I, I want to say it's like a Canadian mob it is, it or is. something. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And I was like, "That's the, what are they smuggling? Maple syrup? Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> They're constantly apologizing. That everybody. was like on fa- that, that was like on Facebook. Uh, John uh, John commented. Somebody posted something about I think Dave posted something about Keanu Reeves. John commented. He's like, "Oh, and he's a naturalized." He's a naturalized Canadian citizen, too. And I'm like, well, nobody's perfect, John. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Nobody's perfect, John. Nobody's perfect. It was like listening to all of Keanu Reeves, like, great accomplishments. And it was like, and and John's like, and he's also a naturalized Canadian citizen. I'm like, well, nobody's perfect, John. You can't win them all. all To all the Canadian listeners out there, how you doing? (laughs) How you doing? We do love you, uh, Canada. I mean, let's be honest. If we didn't, would you really tell us about it? Would you really? No, they'd bottle that shit up. They would. And they'd bottle sh- it up. Ship it to people in maple syrup form. Yep. Oh, is that what maple syrup really is? It's just Canadian, it's Canadian sadness and regret. Canadian or... <laughs> Canadian aggression. <yes. laughs> I kind of want. I kind of want to make a maple flavored like uh, like a maple flavored. IPA and call it just Canadian sadness. No. <laughs> uh, what is it? What, what was the word I just used? God damn it. My, my mind's gone now. Aggression. Yeah. Call it ma- like maple aggression or something like that. Yep. I think that, that's a great beer name. Maple aggression is a great beer name. It's all. <clears throat> all right. So, all right. Move. We're going to switch topics here real quick. I got a couple other things pulled up. Also, okay, so I know we were talking about uh, tips no. or whatever for being a dungeon master as well. One thing, if you have any type of inkling of wanting to be a DM, mm-hmm. learn learn the rules for the game that you want to DM. Yes, that is the most important thing now, you can do. You, you do rules. not have to be the Wikipedia of rules for this. You do not have to, like, essentially... <laughs> No one's going to fault you if you don't memorize the rules. I don't memorize the rules. I have a That's very firm think. understanding of the rules. That's what you, you think. People Listen. will fault you. They will hold you accountable. Good. Let them. They will. Fuck them. They will blame you. They will blame you for but, everything. They'll be like, oh, oh. But me and Devin, we were just talking about this. Different games have either very strict or loose rules, you know, set, sets of rules. Every game has a set of rules, but like D&D, for example, if you want to do something, there's generally a very specific role that you have to make to achieve that goal. Okay, whereas yeah, other working. systems, like the Fate system, it's, you hey, you want to do something? Time. Hey, well, cool, you did it. All right. You know? You can say that word one more time. What? Which one? Specific. Specific, okay. Why? It sounded like you said it. Si- it sounded like you like slurred your word when you said it. That was like I mumble. Do that? No, I have a real. I have a mumble. A mumble problem. Yeah, no, I was just like sitting there like, does he always do that? If so, I need to have him say that word as often as possible. <laughs> Why? Just, how did it? How amazing. did it come out the first time? It was almost like you said like 
Pacifics? It was like Pacifics. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I mumble. Okay. Like, so I have a thing. Not everybody yeah, knows. Is. Not everybody knows this about me. Uh, I don't even know if this. I don't think it's dyslexia technically. So like, my mind moves too fast for my mouth. <laughs> that's not dyslexia. That's just that's. Uh, weird. and I I tend to get my words jumbled up. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Um. Yeah, it happens a lot when I'm reading too. Like I can read really fast, but I won't be able to retain the knowledge, so I have to reread everything over and over again. Uh-huh. I've done that. I read, a, read a whole fucking book in like a day, and it was like that was a great book. What the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Read the whole um, book in the day, and then, like turn to the next book. Like, oh, that was a great book. Let me continue. It's like, wait, what the fuck did this happen? When did this happen? I yeah. read this whole book like a minute ago, and don't remember the book. Um. God damn it. Stranger Things season three is coming July fourth. Everybody, Ooh. DMs. <laughs> We're gonna get back on the DM thing real quick, Devin. It's fine. A lot of people will tell you as a DM, preparation is key. It's bullshit. <laughs> the number, the number one thing about being a DM, the absolute number one thing about being a DM, besides like understanding that you're gonna suck and that's okay, is just honestly remember you're playing. You're not playing. It's not you versus your PCs. No, it, PCs. if you make it you versus your PCs, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I mean there are there are moments there are moments where you can do that and get away with it, and it's okay. There are moments, but generally speaking, a campaign should not be you versus your PCs. Right. That should right. never be the case unless they're very well aware of that going into it. And it's more of a fun challenge. Like how 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 long can we last until you kill us? Or how annoying like this is the part where it's okay. How how annoying can we be before you just decide to throw the book at us? Right. Um, you know, and that's okay. Like if you if you as a group of players want to sit down and torture your GM and do like like have cohesive bills that counter everything he does and make his life miserable. Don't be surprised at level five if, like, he just summons, like, fucking earthquakes. Like, it just swallow you up. Like, not a monster you can fight. No, no, no. Just earthquakes. You die to earthquakes. Yep. Ground opens up, swallows you whole. DC 35 check to dodge the fissure. You don't make it? Oh. Oh, you darn. And he, you, but you all, but he, he's always really lucky. He gets like that one person vanish. They actually make it. And then just that one person has, like, this terrible tell to, like, carry on with him this one bird it's, it's, it's always like the strongest person like the, you find the barbarian and you tear them down and then now they have to carry that burden with them that they aren't enough um and then they're smacked then their fantasy smacked with the realization of life and they start bringing their personal life problems into the game because they realize they're also not enough in life and then it just slowly falls apart um <laughs> <laughs> and then they become then they buy a farm and try to become a farmer, and then they realize then that that's, that's not really what that's they how want. You, that's how you get a player. When that player finally dies, that's how he becomes Panshot. Panshot. That's, pan that's when you just get Panshot, because uh, that player is just like, I don't care anymore. I just, I, I'm, I'm just going to make something that I want to have fun with, because it doesn't matter anyway. And then that winds up being their best character. Yeah. I guarantee you, if you think back, all the role players out there, Think back uh, all on the characters you consider to be your best characters. I guarantee you every one of those characters came off the coattails of an epic failure of another character. I guarantee you they did. Hmm. Not mine. But I mean, I'm the exception to that rule, I suppose. I'm telling you, it's, it's the truth. It's it. You may not think it's the case, but I guarantee you there is something back there. There is something that happened that you were just like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care about... And I don't mention the best character. That would be what Your most fun character you ever played, I guarantee you came off the cur- off the curtails of a, d- of, of a disaster of a character. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, maybe. That, I, I'm almost certain. The character you've had the most fun playing, I guarantee you is a character coming off the curtails of a disaster character. Like, look at me and Tez. Uh, coming off the curtails of a disaster. Or Donnie with any of his characters and, like, the six dead characters that he's played. Donnie and any of his characters on episode two, like, two or three. Like, 
Yeah. Whatever character Donnie reintroduces episode two or three is usually that character. <laughs> yeah. um, like, but I mean, other than that, most importantly, have fun. Make sure so you basically, have fun. Anthony, make what sure we're they're... saying is you should sacrifice Astonis and see what happens. Yeah, then you'll make it your best character. You'll make your that. most fun character you've ever played. You'll, that's when you're just going to say, you know what? This whole magic shit, I tried being smart. It didn't fucking work. I'm going to be a barbarian that beats people with an oversized magical tome. And I call myself a magician. I kind of want to do this now. I want to make that <laughs> character. I want to be a guy who essentially a, says uh, he's a, a wizard, um, but he's just like a fighter or a barbarian. And he just goes around with like a a spell book on a stick and just clubs you just, people. No, no, you just have this oversized book in your back and that's like your spell book and you just run around with it and every smell is every smell. Every, every spell, spell is just every spell is just like um like hurt or fist. And you just you just smack them with the book constantly. Yep. I like it. If I ever if I ever put myself in the game as a DM, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be a character that carries a book around and constantly smacks people with the book. And you can't kill him for whatever reason. I kind of want to make a wizard with like a really low intelligence, but really high strength and constitution and like make him melee things like so he's really good at meleeing. But when he does spells, he's really not great, but he's still technically a wizard class. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. I don't know why it's just like, yeah, I'm a wizard, but I mean, I'm not a great one. <laughs> You're basically the main character of Black Clover. I don't know what that anime. is. It's an anime. Oh. We're literally, it's like you have all these people that have like these cool books, these cool grimoires that can like do cool magic spells of like a certain elemental type. And he just pulls out a sword that can cut through magic. He just pulls out a sword and beats people to death with a sword. It's like, well, there you go. Yep. Magic. <gasps> He's technically a wizard. Magic. Um, Speaking of anime, I don't know if that's a good segue or not. Pokemon's. Is that an anime? That's an anime, right? Because it was a manga. Is that a thing? Am I wrong? Pokemon what is, is Pokemon a manga? Poke, is Pokemon Poke an anime? Is both, Pokemon is both a anime, okay. a manga, a video game, a comic book. It's it's everything. It's everything. You, you cannot be you yeah, cannot be incorrect. Right. So there's Devin. there's Disney and then there's Pokemon. It's right there. All right. So De- Devin. Mm-hmm. Now I had given you before we recorded a couple of the uh, the Pokemans. There was a, there's a big survey that people took online, like over fifty two thousand people participated in this survey. Uh, and I Webby. told you some of the Pokemons that got zero votes. You did, for, Webby. Can I just interrupt for, like, you for one second because I'm gonna forget this. What? So going back to our character concepts of like weird character concepts, or like playing like barbarians or. Uh, orcs or whatever who just aren't who say they're wizards yep somebody posted on reddit and I, we this needs to be our next characters like this needs to happen is Ready? this gonna be a picture no uh me and a friend of mine i'm gonna read, I'll read the post me and a friend of mine have been wanting to get in a campaign where we could play half orc brothers who are self-proclaimed as a wizard and a bard in reality they're both barbarians that believe that killing a wizard is dispel magic and knocking down a door is a unique <laughs> version of knock and then someone comes underneath the door, underneath the statement, and goes, "That could be hilarious for the wizard magic missile. You just throw a wizard at somebody. <laughs> shield is you just throw a shield in front of whatever attack it actually is coming towards you. Fireball, you just throw a barrel of ale, and you basically make a giant malt, a giant malt cocktail. Malt cocktail, <laughs> yep. And throw it at somebody for the bard. Inspiration is just you yelling at your party to do something good, and they smile and play along if they know what's good for them. <laughs> Uh, cutting words is the same thing, but to enemies. Okay. Vicious mockery is insulting your foes as you plant your axe in their face. Charm person. Again, an intimidation check that they would just go along with or else. So, okay. Immediately what I... St- as soon as you started reading this, I immediately thought of mine and Donnie's characters, Crank and Crunk. Yes. But since you found the post, do you understand what this means, Devin? What? This means that you also need to make an orc or a half orc, barbarian, or fighter, some sort of melee class, mm-hmm. who is now also related to Crank and Crunk, and all three of us can go around being spellcasters. I'm okay with this. 
So you got to start thinking of a character concept that will work with Crank and Crunk. Keep in mind, me and Donnie are both barbarians. Different different path barbarians, but... And we're both orcs. I mean, I'll play an orc all day. All right. You give me a game, I got you. If I if I lose all three of my characters, I want to call it your 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 brother just gonna pop out of nowhere and be like, "Yo, I came to help you, bro." I'm I'm not even I'm I'm legit. I mean, I th- I think we should explore this avenue a little bit more, and we should have you create this character like I'm right now, live con- on SU. I'm just gonna control D this page. I mean, uh, uh, what would what would you name your orc? Like it started with Donnie naming his crunk, and then I named mine you crank. Crank. Although, keep in mind, he spells his with a K, I spell mine with a C. Mine is spelled legit like crank. <laughs> and I thought about this afterwards. Isn't crunk like um, like a term for like booze or something like that? Crunk is like a whole genre of fucking um, it's a music style. It's a music style? Uh, All right. It is mind. the subgenre of hip hop. All right. Never mind. I mean, it's also, I mean, you're not wrong. There's a, you know. I didn't know if there was like some sort of like a, like slang term. Yeah, I don't know. You good? I mean, no, no, you're not wrong. I mean, like they, you know, they had crunk juice. You're not wrong. Yeah. And then mine's crank, which is like fucking, uh, what the fuck drug am I thinking of now? I don't my my brain is fried. Meth. Meth. Anyway, what are you gonna name your orc? Hold on, hold on. Oh, a guy can't type words apparently. Go fuck yourself. Oh, and just so you know, based off last week's episode. Uh, I watched the trailer for that 964 Pinocchio. Nope. Yep. Not going to happen. Yep. Not watching it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. But while mm-hmm. you're also thinking of a name for your orc, uh, yep. we had gotten on, I had tried to do the segue into Pokemans. I talked about that that list of the fifty two thousand people who took this poll. I before we started recording I gave you like four Pokemans who got zero votes. So I have the top ten list. And I don't want you to look this up, but I have the top ten most liked Pokemans. Mm-hmm. I wanna see if you can name if if you think you can name any any of these people. Okay. So, who do you think made the top 10 most liked Pokemans? Pikachu. Not on the list. Really? Yep. Well, I was surprised because he got his own goddamn movie. He has numerous movies, but let me ask you a question. Um, What is the criteria for like? People just voted for this Pokemans. Hold on, let like, me I'm read trying this. to figure out, like, what's the criteria for, like, are we talking about, like, competitive usage? We're talking about, like, just... Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Pokemon Super blah, 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 blah. The sheer variety of monsters in the series has birthed the adage, every Pokemon is someone's favorite. And that is precisely what one Reddit user set out to test. Uh, they created a survey asking people to vote for their favorite Pokemon with the intent of discovering whether the saying was actually true. More than 52,000 people participated in the survey, and out of the those responses, four Pokemon received zero votes. Silcoon, Gothita, Electric, and Young Goose. Gothica, that that's harsh on Gothica. Thank you. Gothica's dope. Okay. Considering the sample size, that only four monsters didn't receive. The movie was terrible, but 
Now, considering the sample size that only four monsters didn't receive any votes certainly seems to lend some weight to that saying. The survey also gave us a look at who the most popular Pokemon are, at least among those who responded to the survey. Uh, well, I don't want to okay. say this. Uh, I, you, don't, hmm. you don't have to. You don't have to. You, you said Reddit, so that tells me a very. That's going to tell me a very specific type of people. Yeah, average Pokemon fans All right. not trolling. Let Reddit. me say this because so, there are a shit ton of Pokemans. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I will not say that the top ten list. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little help here. The next sentence is perhaps unsurprisingly, Gen One Pokemans dominated the top ten list. But I'm not saying that all of these are Gen One because I don't know. <laughs> but I just okay. wanted to see if you could, if you, how many of these you think you could name off. Okay. Um. With that being said, and Pikachu did not make the top ten list. That's fine. Um, Charizard. Charizard is number one with 1,107 votes. All right. Um, going down the list, you said Gen 1 dominated. Uh, he didn't, if Pikachu didn't make it, I'm going to say Eevee. Eevee is number nine on the list. All right. With 581 votes. We're getting some rolls there. Let's see. Um, I only know. I okay. Here, I'm going to give you a little bit of another hint. I only know some of these because of recent conversations we've had and talking about Pokemans. All right, well, he's one of my favorites. So I'm going to say. Uh, I'm going to say like Hunter or Gengar. Uh, okay, so Gengar is on the list. He's number two okay. with okay. 1,056 like votes. I like Hunter more than Gengar. I'm just going to point that out, but you know that's fine. Gengar's pretty cool. Um, uh, he said Gen One. Fuck. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is number four on the list. With, My man, Bulbasaur is the with best. With 710 like. votes. Bulbasaur. And I, I, you know what? I think they're going to go the flip side. They they went uh, Blastoise. Blastoise is not on the list. Squirtle. Uh, is not on the list. Damn. All right. You guys have no love to water Pokemon. You fuck yourself. Oh, wait, uh, not Gen 1, but speaking of no love to water Pokemon, uh, do we have love for Swampert? Not on the list. Oh, you guys are terrible, all of you, every one of you. Every, every one of you didn't vote for fucking... Uh, I mean, I might be wrong, there. but based off of these names, I don't think any of these are water Pokemans. Let's go Gyarados? Is not on the list. You guys are terrible. All right. Well, isn't Gyarados a water Pokemon? He is. I just told you. I don't think there's any of these are water. All right. Uh, Arcanine. Arcanine is number three. People love a dogs. Who don't love? Who don't love Big Flame Boy? Nine hundred and twenty-three votes. You be near my top two. I I appreciate that. Charizard, I think, is overrated. Um, Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't be shitting on my favorite. Charizard's overrated. Well, Uh, soon to be second favorite. Dragonite. Donnie, shout out to Donnie. Dragonite on the list? Dragonite, number 10, with 551 all right. votes. All right, all right. So what numbers have I gotten? You've gotten one, okay. two. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Nine and ten. All right. We're, we're, we're on a streak for a minute there. Yeah. Um, you're, you're missing the middle section here. <laughs> Yeah, I know that 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 is a tricky middle section though. It's a really fucking tricky middle section. Uh not Gen 1, Blaziken? Blaziken is no that's B L A Z I K E N, correct? Yes. Yeah, he is no, they are number 5 on the list. Yes, I got 5. We, we got a chain, boys. We got uh, a chain. With 613 <laughs> votes. He would be higher on my list, but I I enjoyed me I do enjoy so, me some Blaziken. Six, seven, eight. You are missing three of them, and they are all in a row. Uh, I will say two of these I don't think I've heard of. One of them I've heard specifically from you. From me? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh.
I watched a video not too long ago on YouTube. We were talking about some Pokemon. And well, this guy had a top 10 list and he was like, yeah, these are my top 10. And I agreed with this pick because I do enjoy the design, even though it's kind of a weird Pokemon. Flygon. Flygon is not on this list. No. Hi, Flygon. You should be on the list. You're awesome. All right. Well, they they picked Blaziken. So I'm going to say, did they go the other way and pick Infernape? Infernape is not on this list. Okay. You guys are good people. There is hope for this world. Um, I will say six and seven were really close vote wise. I, I know that doesn't help you, but not at all. No. Um. Fuck. Uh. Would you like a hint? Yes. Think in the vamp world. Uh huh. Where Roy's ghoul can go. Oh, Umbreon? Umbreon, number six. Okay. Umbreon With okay. 607 votes. It's Evolution. Evolution. Um, people do love that Evolution. I mean, Donnie loves that Evolution. I don't uh, personally. Recently, my favorite Evolution, because he's an adorable boy, um, hands down, is going to be fucking. Um, Fuck the new one. I just, uh, yeah, self, yeah, uh, Sylveon. Not on Sylveon. the list. I know, I know, Sylveon. I, know, I was just oh. saying that. All that. Like, Sylveon's my boy. I uh, will say Cario. that is number seven. That's the one that I was going to give you a hint on. That's the okay. one that I've heard you mention recently. Yeah, that's my starter. Uh, well, that's so not my starter. Riola is my starter. Number seven, um, uh, with 604 votes. Okay, Lucario's been like the poster. Now movie. you're missing yeah. number eight. The last they one tried to replace. They tried to replace Lucario with Zorark, but it didn't work. Is Zorark on the list? No. Okay. This last one. I feel like we're missing some dragons. This last one, I have no idea about. I can look them up real quick if you if you do need a a hint of some fashion. I don't know what gen they are. Uh, okay. Wait. 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 You have no idea what they are, so they're they're not relatively new because you're playing a newer ish game and you you're familiar with some of the older Pokemon. So I'm okay, I now know the gen, and I don't like the look of this Pokemon. <laughs> Rayquaza? No. Okay. So, what would you like? Would you like a a rough physical description esque or no. to gen? Gen or, or the type? Ah, uh, you only get one option. Yes. Jin. Um, it was introduced in Gen 3. Gen 3, that's where a lot of the good Pokemons came from. So Viper? No. Aw. Hmm. Hmm. Um, trying to think of this. what else I could give I you this. that would help. I got this. Uh, I got this. It's. Septile? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Uh, based off of what I'm reading, it is an evolved form of a different Pokemon. Okay. That's that. We're getting places? You don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. So that means it's something that would make you uncomfortable. Not necessarily. I just don't care for the look of this Pokemon. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know if this is going to narrow it down too much. Uh, it can Mega Evolve. Is it Sableye? Uh, nope. Damn it. Hmm. Can Mega Evolve. It's a Gen 3. It can Mega Evolve. And this particular one that's listed is an evolved form. Is a Mega Evolved form or is it Evolved form? It's just an evolved form. Uh, the Mega Evolved form is just Mega and then this, this thing's name. <laughs> Metagross? 
Damn it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, uh, It is a... I, I will give you the type. Mm-hmm. It is a psychic fairy. Psychic fairy. Yep. And mega evil. Ah, hmm. Donnie's probably yelling at me right now. It can evolve. It evolves. I, I, if I'm reading this correctly, it evolves from this particular. It, it evolves from a different Pokemon starting at level oh, thirty. Oh, I'm an idiot. Psychic fairy. I know what you're talking about now. Fuck. Ah, what's her name? It's one of my favorites. One of your favorites. From Ralt. It's one of my favorites. It fucking evolves from Ralt. Ah. Yep. Yep. That's ah, that's a listen right here. <laughs> <laughs> it evolves from Ralts. Fuck. Um, it actually, uh, ev- it says it evolves from Curlia. Curlia? It's, it's one of Ralts' final forms. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, the other one Gardevoir? being... What? Is it Gardevoir? Gar- Gardevoir, yep. Okay, okay. Okay. So, I usually go for the other... I usually go for Gallade. Yep. Which is like the uh, fighting psychic one. I usually go for Gallade. But so, I do like me some Gardevoir. So Gardevoir came in at number eight with 585 votes. So Gardevoir was more popular than both Eevee and Dragonite. As far as just sheer amount of people who liked it. Hmm. You know, I'm very upset that Pancham did not make this list. Well, it's not your list, so he would have otherwise. <laughs> True statement. Oh, I got another cool. Hold on. I'm going to do this right oh, here. Li- going live, Devin. You're going to have to fill a little bit of air here. So if you want to talk. I'm filling air. I'm filling the air. People out there, I'm filling the air. Yeah, that was fucking terrible. I know. Um, Point being is, uh, I don't know what to fill the air with. I'm just sitting here and being a cool person. Um, how are you guys doing? You know, let, let, let's talk about uh, you. You know what? Uh, I need you guys to get us a listener in Russia or I'm going to punch you in the throat. That's it. Throat punches. Everybody gets a throat punch. If you don't fucking get us a listener in Russia by the end of July, everybody's getting a throat punch. Fucking everyone gets a throat punch. I'm punching all of you right in the throat. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to drop kick your grandma. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to drop kick your grandma. Okay. Better believe it. <laughs> no, Be- it. Believe it. <laughs> gonna drop kick your grandma. If we don't get a listener in Russia, believe I'm it. gonna drop kick your grandma. Believe it. I'm not <laughs> editing believe it into this, but yeah, we did it. So I mean you really should. You really like if you're gonna do any editing ever on a on 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 this, you should just get Naruto's believe it in there. I will say that this list will not be in any particular order. Uh, at least not of right now. All right. We're going to see how well you know me. Uh, oh, we do want a list of your favorite Pokemon? Yep. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I mean, hold on, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I got, I got did three you pull more your wish list for Austin's game, huh? Did you pull, did you pull your wish list for Austin's game? Nope, but now I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, guys, uh, that whole list is wrong. The best Pokemon, Shuckle. It's Shuckle. Oh gosh, Shuckle. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you know right now. Shuckle's not on my list. Shuckle's the best Pokemon ever. Um. Um, he is. Shuckle messes with everybody. No, Shuckle cannot be beat. Uh. Oh, Webby, I gotta share with you that uh, who's that Pokemon meme? It's the greatest thing. All right, I got one more to fill in. I'm going to harness my inner Pokemon trainer here. Here, I'm going to help you harness your inner Pokemon trainer. Who does I put? 
Who do the voodoo? Now I, I am going to voodoo. I am going to let you know, Devin. Yes. I am not going to repeat. So if you name one on this list, I'm not going to repeat any of their evolutions. So I'm not going to have like X and then their evolution and later on on this list. Okay. But if I name one of their forms, we, we good. Yeah, I'll give it to you regardless. But if you can try to just put yourself in my mentality of I got you. I'm choosing I got you. which one I like the look right. of the That's most. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. You ready for me to go? Ready for uh, me to go? I need one more. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna pick. Park. I'm going to pick. Uh, remember, it's in no particular order. Um, fuck. I don't. I wish I had like a picture, look, uh, uh, pictures of Pokemans. Uh, Let me just, uh, here we go. Nobody just... understands me. Nobody understands. Oh, that one's a dope looking one. I'll, uh, Yeah, fuck it. No, I'll go with that one too, just because I like the look of that one. And uh, I will do. All right. So I have my top 10 Pokemans list all set. We're going to see how many we got in a row that Don or that Devin can get in a row. All right, in a row. Yeah. All right. And like I said, they do not have to be in any particular order as long as they're on the top ten list. All right. First one on the list, I'm going to throw in there because I know what your favorite Charizard. Correct. All right. Boom. Second, I'm going to go with. And you even got which one was my favorite. All right. I'm going to go with number two. I'm going to go with Pancham over Pangoro. Even though I know you like both, I think you like the adorableness that is Pancham more. Bam. That's two for two. (laughs) Written <laughs> verbatim, in that order, even. Uh, this is where it's gonna go downhill. Um, uh, da, 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 da. you know what? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I know you like Cub Chew, and I know you like Beardic, but I'm gonna go with Beardic over Cub Chew. Even though you went with adorableness for Pancham, you're gonna go with Beardic for the aggressiveness because. I think that's just you. I think he just looks like he wants to be left the fuck alone and people fuck with him and he's just like, ah, I hate everybody. Well, I did. So I'm going to go with Beardick. I did go Cub Chew. You were Cub Chew. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But, but that's still, fine. you got it. I can see both arguments. Yep. Um, I mean, this one, I would say Teddy Ursa because, I mean, it's fucking Teddy Ursa. Like, Ursa Ring's dope, but Teddy Ursa is fucking adorable. You are correct. I got Teddy Ursa on my list. Uh, I'm gonna say Snorlax because he just has the best life. Eat 800 pounds of food and go to bed. <laughs> Snorlax was was yep. You have <laughs> not missed life. a beat yet, my friend. I don't know if that's because I'm very predictable or because you just know me that well. I mean, uh, it's gonna go downhill. I'm running out of bear Pokemon. So I, I will say it's... I got two on here that you might not know. You're probably right. Um, I know you ain't got Pikachu on your list because you like fuck Pikachu. Yep. Um. I think you, you know what? I don't know if you know him, but I think you kind of like him. I'm going to put Scyther in that list. I don't even know who that is. All right. I'm going to show you a picture of Scyther. Okay. And let's see if you like him. I will say, if you want a hint, I got a hint for at least one of these guys. All right. Go for it. Uh, I was very upset that I lost this one in my game and I went and farmed a shitload of them. Abra. I put down Kadabra. Abra yes. or Kadabra or Alakazam, which we still have the trade to get you. Yeah. What is this? Who is this Pokemon? Oh, don't play that. That's just funny. Oh, um, right. Here's this. What the hell is this? Like Dragon Blade hands? That That's Scyther. You know, I got um, knife based, hands. Based on a praying mantis, evolves into Steelix, which is also pretty cool. Um, or is he a not dragon Steelix. type? I fucking lied. No, he's not. He's a flying bug, actually. Oh. Um, Sizer, not Steelix, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yeah. All right, um, so back to my list. Back to your list. Two okay. of these, I don't think, I don't necessarily know that you'll get. They might be Probably kind not. of. Uh, man, I, w- I want to say Kangaskhan, but you I don't still think still get one King. more bear, you know. 
I I I mean I got beware. Like I like oh, okay. beware. I don't know if you have beware. Yeah, no, that's on there. It's on there. Okay. Yep. I love beware's Pokedex entry. Like I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna link you beware's Pokedex entry from from Pokemon Moon specifically. So like this is beware's Pokeware Pokedex entry. It's the habit of hugging its companions. Many trainers have left this world after their spines were squashed by its hug. I love it. It's funny because, like, in the when it's stuff fluff, it doesn't like to be touched, and then when it evolves, it likes all the touches. It's like, I'm just gonna hug you. Okay, so these last three. All right. Now you've only guessed like two wrong so far. You're right. Now these last uh, three. Hold on. Throw me for a loop. Two of them probably will. <sighs> One of them shouldn't because. I put him on my wish list for a specific reason in Austin's game. But Be- I don't know your wish list in Austin's game. Because I, f- well, I, 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 I verbally said it out loud. It's because I felt bad for this Pokemans. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. That, that makes sense. Uh, Cubone. Cubone is on my list. No one should be a lonely well, Pokemon. He's a lonely Pokemon. <sighs> now Cubone's last story is really sad. Like he wears his, he wears the skull of his deceased parent. It's really sad. I know. I love it. It's sad. Poor Cubone. He's just adorable. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, fuck. Aerodactyl. No, I don't even know what that is. Okay. <laughs> I will tell you one of them is a dog Pokemon. Okay. Uh, dog Pokemon. There's like a few of those. And I know I will tell you that I know specifically that this is a non-evolved Pokemon. So this is like the youngest Pokemon's. Uh, okay. I, I did well, not choose that, the every dog version. Pokemon evolves into another dog Pokemon, but I'm gonna say and go with uh, it's. I think it's it's down to one of two. Like, I don't think I don't think you'd pick Growlithe. Well, you know, Growlithe's pretty cool. Well, <laughs> did you pick Growlithe? I did. Okay. Honestly, I thought you would have went for uh, Poochyena, or you would have went for um fucking uh Houndoom. I yeah, almost Houndoom, chose but... the, the yeah the the Rottweiler looking one with the bone armor. Yeah, not Houndoom, the other one, uh, Houndor. There you go. Yeah, Houndor. I almost went with that one because I got that one in my Pokemon's game, but looking at just purely the pictures of them, uh, Growlithe just looked fluffy. Growlithe is a lot of Growlithe is probably Growlithe in the Arcanine is probably it's easily on my top five. I fucking love Growlithe in Arc. Our Arcanine is probably my one of my favorite Pokemon. This like, last when I was a one, kid, Arcanine was my favorite Pokemon. This last one, I think, will probably surprise you that it even made my list. But it again, I saw this Pokemon and I was like, oh, that's cute. They're very fluffy. Fluffy Pokemon? At least I think they're fluffy. Hold on, let me look. I might have been wrong. Hmm. I keep wanting to type in Pokemans. I mean, they look kind of fluffy to me, anyway. Very, See, for me, when it comes very to, adorable. When it comes, when it comes to fluffy Pokemon, nothing beats a Whimsicott, but that's just me. I don't know um, what Whimsicott is. Whimsicott's beautiful. Donnie hates it, but um, but I love Whimsicott. Um, but in so, terms of fluffy Pokemon, I will. Hold I would on. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you some go. hints. I'm gonna give you some hints here. Okay. Gen okay. one. Gen one Pokemon. Okay. Normal type. Gen one normal type. Fluffy. Yep. It's an Eevee. It is Eevee. Okay. I'm like, I can't think of a Gen 1 normal type that's, like, fluffy. Like, I, I can't see you calling up with a fucking Raticate. Like, what's up? How you doing? Why not? I don't know. I don't but know. I fucking love Whimsicott. Everybody needs to get on Whimsicott's train. Whimsicott's now, the greatest Pokemon. Can you show me what a Whimsicott is? They are literally... It's a little, like... It's a little short dude with a giant cotton afro. Well... Like, he's amazing. Look. Uh, well, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Does it also have that? Is that a beard, 
Or is that like poofy chest hair? It's like it's 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 or is that it's part whimsicott. of the afro? I don't understand. It's whimsicott, hold on. Whimsicott hair. I would see if I'm not mistaken. Whimsicott's dope. But I mean, I don't know. It's just a little chest tough. He has a little chest tough of cotton. Whimsicott's great. Who doesn't love Whimsicott? I don't think Donnie likes Whimsicott. He doesn't like Whimsicott because I told I, I laughed. I'm like, Donnie, that should be your starter. He's like, fuck you. I'm like, it should be your starter. He evolved from Cottony. He's just a little cotton ball. And then he becomes Whimsicott, who's also a little cotton ball with legs. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of Cottony. Here, here. See, here's Cottony and Whimsicott. He evolves from a little cotton puffball into a cotton puffball with legs. But he has... Oh, okay. So that, the Whimsicott is the evolved version. Okay. What the fuck yeah. is that first one? It's cottony. He's a little cotton ball with, like, leaf wing things. With leaf wing <laughs> things. Okay. And then he evolves into cottony, who's just... He, he, or, or he evolves into Whimsicott. He's just a little, like, puffball with legs. And runs around like, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to give you one opportunity, Devin. Okay. Now, the one on my list that I was really kind of iffy about was Eevee. Yeah. Now, now I went with Eevee because, again, looked cute, kind of fluffy, something that I'd be able to pick up and hug, right? Okay. Now, Mm -hmm. the majority of my list, with the exception of Charizard... (laughs) whom I probably still would pick up and hug, are all furry, cuddly-looking, you know, creatures. Mm-hmm. Okay. And with the exception of Kadabra, I guess. He just looks cool because he's going to beat someone with a fucking spoon. Like, he's, he's like, don't fuck with me. I'm going to bend the spoon up your ass. Um, I want you to link me a picture. Mm-hmm. If, if you can of think of... Evolutions? No, no, no. Uh, if you can think of somebody out of all the Pokemans, to try to change my mind and replace Eevee on my top 10 list with another Pokemon, knowing that I go for kind of the adorable... I'm a, I'm a softie when it comes to Pokemans, apparently. Who would you choose? That's... And this may just be because I'm biased, but... I think I already know the answer. And I mean, I went with Growlithe because, like, don't get me wrong, the Arcanite, he, he was also a dope-looking dog. But, like, the Growlithe, they, they I have very fluffy I have, and I'm, I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you two. Only I'm going to give you okay. two is because... I'm, I'm giving give you, you the one. option to try to change my mind and replace Eevee. I'm going to give you list. one is my actual answer, but I'm going to give you another one that I think I... You in, inherently would not like it, but I think I could. I think you would at the end of the day. Okay, so po- post post me, post me the the first one first, and then the one that you don't think it, that inherently I won't like, and then you can p- try to persuade me on that one. You can try to tell me why I would like them. All right, so I'm gonna post the base form and the evolution of these two Pokemon. Okay. It might backfire because it might give you some Pikachu vibes, but I think it's also has another personality on its own. No, don't get me wrong. I don't hate Pikachu. I think he's no, a little, no, I, I think he's a little asshole, and I think that's part of the charm of it. Uh, but again, go with... you know me, and the more people tend, to, with the exception of Charizard, apparently, because he was number one on the top. I list. think this one doesn't get enough love, so I'm going to give you the picture of good old fashion. Mincino, which is and since and Cincino, which are the evo- uh Mincino is the base and then Cincino is the evolution. Oh, okay. I gotta make this one bigger. It's like a little mouse creature. Alright, I mean of of those two I like the first one for like, I like the first one better. Alright. The second then... one the second one looks like it's got like a scarf made out of its hair. It does. Oh, that's weird. 
All right. It's all, it's also a badass though. <gasps> Which gen is this from? Uh, Mincino is from. Hold on. Mincino, what gen did you first pop in? Talk to me, motherfucker. Gen five. Wow. All right. I will say the most of my the very limited Pokemon knowledge that I have comes from Gen that one. I think you inherently won't like, but I find it to be extremely adorable. So I think you might like it. Is but I don't like the evolution of it, but I do like the base form <clears throat> in one Mr. Joltik. Okay. What makes it's, you think I would like this at all? This looks like a spider. It it is the electric spider Pokemon, but it's adorable. That's no. why I was like no. as I, I I went side with it. I was like, you may like it, you may not. I will say that this this the, I'm assuming this is the base form. That uh, is the base form. I will say it looks like it looks like the the cute adorable animated spider that talks on like all like on all the websites and stuff. Was it Charlie the spider or whatever the hell that is? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does look like a cute one, but still Spider Man. I, I mean, like Galvantula is not is not terrifying. Galvantula is still kind of cute. It's evolution. It's still kind of cute. It's not terrifying. No, I don't. That what. I don't like it. I know you don't like it. I'm just saying it's it's still kind of cute. It's just not as cute. But if I had to, hmm, hmm, hmm. the answer is shuckle. It's always going to be shuckle. <laughs> Goddamn! You don't fuckle with shuckle. Exactly. It's always shuckle. That is the answer to every question of the cutest Pokemon. It's shuck. It's shuckle. Um, the answer to every Pokemon and how adorable that Pokemon may be will is and always will be Shuckle Pantrum anyway <sighs> Shuckle would fuck Pantrum up not you. I don't think you would listen be all right. I mean no be you're right. probably right I've seen that video of Shuckle Shuckle I don't know <laughs> if I ever have to fight a Shuckle in my game I'm just gonna run <laughs> I mean, they're actually really easy in the game. They're not that bad because they never the 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 computer never swaps their attack. Although if they swap their attack and you're faster, then if you, if you're using Trick Room, it could be interesting. But if not using Trick Room, it's not worth it because they won't ever be faster than you, and they're just going to die immediately. Well, so, Devin, this yeah, was yeah. interesting. It was you. Uh, I will say that you got the majority of my list. Without, I mean, yeah, without I, I really having to put think. thought into it, you had a, you know, you had a, a couple curveballs in there. I was like, ooh, 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 but yeah, I mean, you know, um, we got to, uh, we got to uh, expand your. Uh, I I will say this right now game. for the listeners: the reason that we are not going to put have Devin put together a top ten list and have me try to guess, I would, I, mean, I would get one of them maybe. You know who? You know who's on my top ten list though. I tell you right now, Lucario. fucking Pachirisu. Who? Pachirisu. I don't know who that is. Pachirisu is this guy right here. He is an electric squirrel. Well, I like squirrels. What's that? Can you show me the evolved version of that? I don't. I don't know he if I like evolve. that. He doesn't evolve. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I like the expression of his face. Patrice is the best. Mm. All right. If I put a little chat bubble above his head says, saying like, yay, murder, then maybe. <laughs> so you don't. So he's too cute for you, what you're saying. I don't know. I don't know. Something about him. I just like it's the face. Something in the face. I don't really care for. Patrice is always smiling. He's always happy. Yeah, no one should be happy all the time. Patrice is happy. I mean, all even Pancham. Okay, Pancham looks upset and disgruntled Patrice a lot of times. All the time. Patrice mm. is the best. It's not good. This, this is the closest you get to unhappy Patrice. Here you go. You want you want unhappy Patrice, Webby? Yeah. I got you unhappy Patrice. Well, he just looks baffled. <laughs> he looks it shocked. Did, it didn't do the gift. Hold on. Oh. Gotta post it in my desktop, save the fucking picture, drag it and drop it. Now, is that the only oh. squirrel Pokemon? Uh, maybe. Oh, okay. 
Ang angry electric squirrel looks looks cooler. He's not as cute though. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, but yeah, so so for the listeners, if you're wondering, uh, oh, no. I would He's never like, get only a couple Devin's. of squirrel Pokemon. There are only a couple. Uh there are two. I tell you, well, I mean, okay, let's see. Um, there's technically there is. That's funny. Apparently, Pikachu is also based on. It wasn't based on a mouse. He was actually based on a squirrel. But okay. um, but uh, Pachirisu is one. Uh, Emolga is a flying squirrel. Also a happy individual. He even comes with pre-made with sparkles. Uh, no, um, I don't like that one either. Yeah, Emoga has that. I mean, Pachirisu has one of the most adorable moves ever. He has Nuzzle. He has a move called Nuzzle. Listen. That, that, he has Nuzzle. Mm. Nuzzle. He just rubs up against you and paralyzes you. You're paralyzed with adorableness? Yes, it's and electricity, up. mostly adorableness. <laughs> That's fucked up. So, okay, so who was it? You said it was Beware. Uh, yeah. So you can use this electric squirrel, and you can paralyze him with adorableness while I walk up and hug them to death. Yep, that's the plans. That's the plan, Z. Now, I got a super easy question for you, Devin. I've got a super difficult answer. What's up? If I was a Pokemon in real life, who would I be? Snorlax. By uh, your own by your my own logic. <laughs> my, my man. <laughs> be like be like, I just want to eat and go to bed. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're not wrong. When he just wakes up like, why'd you wake me up? I'm I'm stuck. Ah! <laughs> eat something. I'm going back to bed. All right. All right. And then I have to go pull out like a fucking Pokemon flute to wake your ass up. Like Webby, we need you. <laughs> uh fine <laughs> all right so we are over our hour hey hour hour 16 mark now Devin. cricket tune not bad hour and 16 bitches were those the only two squirrel pokemons uh that that and there's one i refuse to acknowledge so yes. why post that one i bet you that one's the best one out of all of them hey you're wrong post it let me see Oh my god, why do you not like this one? Who is this one? It's this one Patrick. looks psychotic. That's Patrat. Because I, I don't like his evolution at all. Well, what's his evolution look like? <laughs> I can't take his evolution seriously. Like, that first one looks like he's looking at you like, I'm gonna fuck you up with my mind. Like... <laughs> Just the way he's looking, he's like, I'm going to fucking explode your head by staring at you. That second one just looks like a really upset neighbor that, you know, you borrowed his lawnmower for too long. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 fuck <laughs> that guy. Fuck watch out. God damn it. And that Patrat. second fuck one. No, I out. like the first one. I no, like the first one. Those Pokemon. I like the first they one. They are right up there with Bidu for me, so fuck fuck I, them. No, I like the first one. I'm going to try to catch that first one and then just never let it evolve. And well, I'm just gonna steal your Game Boy and make it evolve, and then you'd be like, No, no! And and just, watch just watch dog looking at you, just Nope, fuck it. I'll I'll I'll, I'll trade him away. <laughs> No, oh, come on. He's like, he's, like he's the you coolest. He he's looks, not. no, he looks so cool. That first one looks so, I can't, I literally can't take that second one seriously, though. Where's my lawnmower? <laughs> your, Jesus, Chris, your Christmas lights are awfully bright. <laughs> he looks like he spits when he talks. He has like the, he, he kind of does have that angry neighbor vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, this fucking team. Oh, he's a lot of fire, too. Fuck Man. My life. Anyway, so that's all we're going to talk about this week. We touched upon a couple different subjects. Not bad, Devin. We, we filled the air pretty good. I'm proud of us. Fuck it. <laughs> Lead in. Uh, and it's Tuesday, so I don't even have to edit slash upload and post this until later on this week. So, yeah. Good job, Devin. I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Glad. If you were a Pokemon, 
and I had to choose who you were, you'd be Lucario. Well, thanks, buddy. No problem. I don't know. I don't know how to do. I don't. I mean, that's fine. Like, I like. I I like Lucario. I fucking hate Lucario's typing. I don't know what that means. His type is steel fighting, but the problem is that steel fighting is he legitimately takes two times damage from fighting type. So it's like really. So it was fighting dark. Like it's the dumbest. I I I uh. I don't like what this is all about right now. He, I knew he was gonna go Feral Thorn. Yes. Nah, we'd both be Cubones. Let's just face it. Walk around with skulls on our heads and beat people to death with bones. I should have the speed here. Can I one shot? <laughs> All right, Devin, uh, where can people find you on the internet? We'll log you guys can finishes. find me on the internet at DMP. Wait! Zen on Twi- Moment of Zen? Yep. <laughs> Moment of Zen? Um, stare off into the world and do not become a watchhog. There you go. There you go. I agree with that 100%. Now, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me at DMP underscore Pookie on twitter and on twitch at who killed me um and as always you can find me on ebay at pokemon hunter 47 and as always you guys can follow me on twitter at jacks forest walker uh one word on twitch at dm webby uh, on instagram at patrick.webster52 and on ebay at i took wachog's lawnmower uh Ooh. Yep, that's why he's so angry. Don't tell him, he's though. you like, motherfucker? <laughs> I heard that. And uh, thank you guys for listening and tuning in. And as always, fuck Booster Gold. So what's the... What chug is the... No freeze me, 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 no freeze me.